This is Mike Decker with the National Weather Service in San Angelo, Texas. This briefing is being updated just before 6 a.m. Saturday morning. We're looking for low clouds to move up the Rio Grande into the Interstate 10 corridor area from Ozona, Sonora, and Junction areas through mid-morning. By late morning, however, these uh, clouds will dissipate, and we're looking for temperatures to rise well into the 90s across much of West Central Texas. It'll be a little bit cooler there near uh, Ozona and Sonora where uh, daytime highs are only expected to reach around 91. However, up in uh, Haskell and Throckmorton counties, we can expect temperatures near 98. For night, it'll be dry. We're looking for overnight lows in the lower 70s. Similar conditions are expected for Sunday and Monday with highs in the mid and upper 90s and dry conditions. However, by Tuesday, we could see some isolated showers and thunderstorms. Uh, these isolated showers and thunderstorms uh, will, will continue to be possible uh, Wednesday. And you could see a little bit more scattered coverage uh, Wednesday night into uh, Thursday night across west central Texas with these, the uh, greatest potential for shower and thunderstorm development over the big country. The main threats from these storms will be uh, gusty winds and dangerous lightning. This has been Mike Decker with the National Weather Service, San Angelo, Texas.